All right, Marty Rule back here with Wide Open Foods in the Wide Open Foods kitchen. Well, Christian over here getting more leftovers after Turkey Day 2022. So, as promised, here's the Bloody Mary that we make. This is your ultimate hangover cure. Just great for college football, NFL, any great uh, time that brunches, any, any time that Bloody Marys are applicable. This is the best, all right? So what we do is we're going to take this glass right here and we're going to rim it with some Creole blackening seasoning and some Cajun boil. A little bit of our secret weapon celery salt will go in the in the rimming and into the uh, glass for the for the uh, Bloody Mary. And the other thing that we love to use is right here somewhere. What do I do with it? Oh, here it is. So I use the Nashville hot chicken sauce shake it up real good and I'm gonna put that in there and I'm using some Bloody Mary mix that I just got cans of on sale by Mr. and Mrs. T's so I got some cans of Bloody Mary mix here all ready to go Mr. and Mrs. T so those will be those will be there and just some nice cheap vodka the better vodka you use the better it'll be of course you know and you can get some infused and get some or some Tito's made here in in Tennessee. Uh, amazing Tito's vodka. So let me pause for a second, and I'll get this rimming ready. I'm just going to put some. I'm going to put some blackening. I'm going to put some boil. A little tiny bit of celery salt, just for added fun. And of course, you're going to put a celery stick in there if you've got it. I just use the salt, celery salt when I'm rimming the glass. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this glass, get a little wetness on the rim. I use these little lids; they're cheap and easy. Mix this around a little bit, and when I rim the glass, it's going to help crunch up those pieces of blackening because it is all natural and it doesn't have any uh, anti-caking agents or anything like that in it. chunks you can break up. Just get yourself a real nice rim going there. So delicious when you have that all around your rim the deliciousness in this Bloody Mary. So now I'm just going to throw in some vodka. You can use ice as well. I'm going to get that ready and I'm going to finish the video. Okay, so I got a little ice in the glass there, a little shot of vodka in there. This big of a glass, you might want to do a double like I did. And we're going to shake this up really, really well. Available at Kroger, Publix, Turnip Truck, online, uh, Amazon, all over the place, but especially on our website, wideopenfoods.com, shameless plug. So I'm going to put in a good little dollop of that, about two little squirts. I like it pretty spicy though. If you don't want it as spicy, you can use the mild one called not way hot. The medium is called almost way hot. This is the regular way hot, and when you make chicken with this, it's going to be similar to a Hattie B's, just a regular hot. Okay? I'm going to throw in some Bloody Mary mix. Pretty simple, easy concept, right? And get the can open without busting your fingernails off. So it takes two of these little guys. Now what I've got is I already prepped this. So I got bacon, pickle, onions, black olives, a little bit of this Giardinaria, how do you say that, Giardinaria, Giardinaria, Giardinaria mix, I get that from Restaurant Depot when I buy all my uh, ingredients, and of course we can use this to kind of stir everything up, it's going to flavor it, a little bit of celery salt mixed in there, 
for extra celery flavor. You can add a little extra Worcestershire, anything else that you really like in your Bloody Marys, you can add a little extra. But this right here is already set and ready to go. Pretty easy for your parties and absolutely wonderful and delicious with your Creole blackening seasoning, your Cajun boil as your rim. And a little bit of Nashville hot chicken sauce. And there you have it. Absolutely beautiful. Enjoy. Go Titans. Go Vols.